Okay, this is the uh, launch idea again, and I'll show you the problem. I've managed to contact launch via Golo on the uh, site of Google Play, and they just told me that their Nexus 5 works, but mine doesn't. I'll show you what it does. If you can't even get this far, I've managed to get it so it works till here again with bypassing overcoming this passing error but this is the problem now I don't think we even need to log in that's another feature you don't really need to log in if we can't get on like the internet connection is very poor here we'll just go Asians Toyota pairing Connecting, it comes up. I get this far now, latest software, initializing, boom. Here we go, arrow ID4. The please upgrade the display program. I can't overcome this problem, so here's what I've done. I've given up on it, but here's the fix. Stay tuned. Yes, really quit. So we won't want to be trying to get on here. Well, we go on with the other device. Confirm. Okay. Fortunately, since Google Nexus 6, even the latest update, nothing's changed. And here's the fix. You buy a tablet next book. Here's the model number. That's what you need to buy. You don't even need to go on to Google Play. Well, you can, but I got the download link of the APK from launch to try and none of them worked on my Nexus here, so it Got here. Next book. Very cheap tablet because I didn't want to waste too much money on on things like if it didn't work, it's only a hundred bucks, which is about 80 US, maybe 70. This is unfortunately live. I'm connected here again, this time with power to my IDAC dongle. I'm just doing a service on this car here, so books right there and it's connected via the plug and you have to remove the little pin here of course when you put the plug on so you can plug in your socket okay we're loaded here now that's all I got on I don't even have Google Play and we're running let's see where's the settings here about the tablet it's running set the wizard build number here we go kernel android 4.4.2 is the version and this version works perfect with the IDAC so that's what you need really I'll show you I'll go back to that's all that's on there. I'm not going to put anything else on there because I don't want to corrupt any of it. I'm not going to update or any whatever. It's just for the launch, this tool. Log in. It wants to log in. We can cancel that. Because we don't need to log in. I'll show you. Asians. Toyota. Pair. Connecting paired. Connecting. Here we go. Same as we had on the uh, Nexus 5 before. We go. And voila. No error. Now here we go 17 pin. We go SRS airbags. 
Notice, blah blah blah. I'm connected. Yes, I want to see. Read TTCs. That's the airbag TTCs of the Toyota. Because it this vehicle does have airbags. So we shouldn't have any airbags because there's no dash. No fault call detected because the airbag lights going out. So that's fine. Engine. Blah blah blah, 22 queen connector. Data list. There's an intermittent for for immobilizer on it, but it works. I have to ask him about that if he noticed anything. We'll go here, like on the old system, I'll just show you. It all works, it's all there. Open loop. There's your fuel trims, open loop, closed loop, idle switch on. I showed last time that it works and I've done it before, it works. There's no problem, so this is the fix. Next book. Thank you.